Centerville is a city in Bibb County, Alabama, United States. At the 2020 census, the population was 2,800. The city is the county seat of Bibb County. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, Centerville has a total area of 9.6 square miles, of which 9.5 square miles are land and 0.15 square miles, or 1.52%, is water. The city is bordered to the west by the city of Brent by the Cahaba River. The city is located in the central part of the state along U.S. Route 82, which runs from southeast to northwest to the north of the city, leading southeast 70 miles to Montgomery, the state capital, and northwest 35 miles to Tuscaloosa. Alabama State Routes 25 and 219 both run through the center of the city from south to north. AL 25 leads northeast 21 miles to Montevallo and southwest 38 miles to Greensboro. AL 219 leads north 7 miles to Alabama State Route 5 north of Brent and south 42 miles to Selma. The climate in this area is characterized by hot, humid summers and generally mild to cool winters. According to the Köppen Climate Classification System, Centerville has a humid subtropical climate, abbreviated CFA on climate maps. Centerville is the site of the highest recorded temperature in the state of Alabama, when on September 6, 1925, the temperature reached 112 degrees Fahrenheit or 44. 4 degrees Celsius. The data below are for the years 1916 to 1974. As of the 2020 United States Census, there were 2,800 people, 947 households, and 599 families residing in the city. As of the Census of 2010, there were 2,778 people, 1,066 households, and 729 families residing in the city. The population density was 294 inhabitants per square mile. There were 1,178 housing units at an average density of 122 per square mile. The racial makeup of the city was 72. 2% 2 white, 23. 7% black or African American, 0. 3% Native American, 0. 4% Asian, 2. 4% from other races, and 1. 1% from two or more races. 3. 0% of the population were Hispanic or Latino of any race. There were 1,066 households, of which 29. 7% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 47. 2% were married couples living together, 15. 9% had a female householder with no husband present, and 31. 6% were non-families. 29. 0% of all households were made up of individuals, and 14. 2% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2. 50 and the average family size was 3. 07 in the city, the population was spread out, with 23. 8% under the age of 18, 9. 0% from 18 to 24, 24. 6% from 25 to 44, 24. 6% from 45 to 64, and 18. 1% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 39 years. For every 100 females, there were 92. 6 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 95. 0 males. The median income for a household in the city was $31,642, and the median income for a family was $58,000. Males had a median income of $37,614 versus $17,088 for females. The per capita income for the city was $18,172. About 13.5% of families and 15.9% of the population were below the poverty line, including 10.1% of those under age 18 and 1.1% of those age 65 or over. The Cahaba River Falls near Centerville, which made the town a strategic location for transportation through the region. The first post office in Bibb County was established in Centerville in 1821. Sarah Willis Cotard obtained a patent for land in this area in 1823 and began moving squatters off the land and laid out a plot for the new town of Centerville. In 1829, Centerville became the permanent seat for Bibb County after several years of debate in different locations of the county courthouse, and the town was incorporated in 1832. Centerville's Historic District is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. On March 25, 2021, a violent tornado hit the southern and eastern portions of Centerville,
causing significant damage to the area and rendering the Bibb County Airport a total loss. In 1910, a white woman by the name of Mrs. Crow gave birth to a child of doubtful color, who was thought by many to be the product of a relationship between Crow and an African American, and she was accused of having such a relationship. At first she vigorously denied it, but then, under intense peer pressure, she confessed to the baby's origin but claimed that she had been raped. When asked if she knew who raped her, Crow gave them the name of Grant Richardson, an African American who lived near the Brayhead Slope Mine Camp, northeast of Centerville. The miners and other local residents were so incensed at the affair that they decided to apply summary vengeance to Richardson as soon as they knew that the sheriff had apprehended him. Deputy Sheriff Cam Riley apprehended Richardson on October 12, 1910, and was returning him to the jail at Centerville for processing and trial, but was waylaid by a lynch mob. The mob took Richardson from Riley and shot the suspect. Chief Deputy Sheriff Charles Oakley investigated the scene as soon as word of the incident reached him, but other than the body, the shells, and the blood, there was little usable evidence to be found, much less witnesses. A coroner's inquest was held as soon as a special coroner was appointed, but there is no known result of that inquest. This was the first recorded lynching to take place in Bibb County. It is unknown whether charges of either filing false charges resulting in a murder or miscegenation were filed against Crow, but it is known by those aware of Richardson that he had lived in the area for a number of years with a fair reputation prior to the incident. Centerville is served by the Bibb County Public School District. Schools in Centerville include Bibb County High School and Centerville Middle School. Cahaba Christian Academy is a private school serving grades pre-K to 12. Thanks for watching.